Then you have the pricing. Here we give you details of our pricing and what you can get as a business. We set the profits accordingly on the airtime. We have these products as well, where we detail the possible amounts, the discount, and these types of goods, and the FX rate. If your account is in euros, you have to check what currency the countries use and see the exchange rate. Now, the currency depends on the one you use for your account. You cannot change the currency of your account, so please make sure to add the correct one. Here, you need to either select if you're looking at the discount type by um, the international discount type or the local discount type. Um, what this means is on the portal, you only have one option to send an international transaction. But via the API, you have the possibility to send the transaction like a local transaction. Then we will deduct the equivalent from your international wallet. For example, I have a USD wallet, but I want to send um, it up, up to, let's say, Nigeria. This will help. This gives me the discounts I get if I'm sending to Nigeria. Unfortunately, all of this is set as zero, but the effect is one to one, right? Because you're sending local, but that does not mean that it's one to one. There will definitely be a conversion. It's one to one because if you send them fifty using the local amount, you will be receiving fifty in Nigeria, right? But now we are going to. In we are going to deduct the equivalent of that 50 naira from your USD wallet. And for you to know um, the FX that will be applied in that, then you need to switch to the international discount type. So for, let's assume you've sent a, a thousand naira at, um, worth of airtime. We are going to be deducting your wallet, dividing that with the rates. Um, that gives us the exact um, amount will be deducting from your wallet right but it's nice to have because most people that use the portal are the business line and they might not really see the discounts or have access to the api that's why we are exposing this as well via the api right so here you have possibilities to filter by country by operators and by operator operator name discounts this it's like more like sorting sorting them by the operator name or sorting by discounts or sorting by the FX. So all of this, we also have these options. If you want to see only the fixed amount stop ups, you also have that option to just see the fixed amount of um, top ups. If you want to see the range, you have the options to only see the range products as well. Then we have the pricing for the gift cards and we give you a list of all of the gift card products. You can see the possible values and the discounts you get. You can also see if there's a fixed fee for some gift cards. And here you have all of the filters as well. You could filter by country or by products. We also have the utility payments, similar to that of the view, is similar to that of the airtime. Um, you can filter by country and it gives you like the list of um, billers we have in that country and as well as the pricing. 